Welcome to another year, teachers. If you're in one of the classrooms that's lucky enough to have one of these brand new smart panels, there's a few things you need to know about it because it does operate a little bit different than our traditional smart boards. So we're gonna go ahead and connect what I would typically use in a classroom, being my computer and a document camera, and I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to the new smart panel. So let's come on over here and get a good look about what's going on in the wall here because that's a little bit different. First off, you're gonna need two cables to get you hooked up. The first cable is gonna be a standard USB cable, and that's gonna give us our touch capabilities. And of course, USB has, B has the, uh, the boxy house looking connector on one side. That's gonna go right here into the wall. And a standard USB, that's gonna go into our laptop. And this cable will give us touch capability. By plugging it into my laptop, I should now be able to uh, write and touch on the smart board. The other cable that's gonna be new for this type of panel is HDMI. We're used to having a VGA connection, and those are like the blue cables that come with your computer. Well, this is gonna use something that would go more into your TV. And these HDMI, they do have a little notch on one side, so it really doesn't matter which end goes in the wall and which end goes in the computer, but you do need to have uh, the HDMI port on your computer located because there should be just one port that that fits into. Once I've got those two cables, that's pretty much it. This laptop is now connected to that panel. I just need to turn on that panel so that I can see and do everything that I need. Before I head over to the panel though, I also wanna show you that if you've got one of these Solo 8s, you're gonna be hooking this in to your computer. So I'm just gonna use the cable that was provided. Again, this is a USB cable. And so this is gonna go right into my computer and the other end is gonna go back into the back of the Solo 8. And this has a completely different kind of cable. It's uh, very tall on one side. It's only gonna go into one port. So now that I've got everything connected into my computer and the computer is connected to the smart panel, let's take a look at the smart panel. If you wanna come over here, Brent, I wanna show this side first because behind this smart panel, you've got a few key things. First off, this black box right here this is for my audio enhancement. So when I'm talking to my kids and I want them to hear me, I'm gonna be wearing my microphone and adjusting the audio with these little knobs right here. Um, above that, I've got power. You really don't have to mess with this a whole lot because everything back there is set up for your smart board. But one of the nice things about this is this smart panel is on a balance box. So if I need to bring it down, I just pull down. If I need to bring it up, I just pull up. And that's gonna be very nice because your picture is really not, it's always gonna be where you need to need it. Over here, if you wanna come on over, I'm gonna show you that your, most of your power buttons and everything you need for your smart panel are gonna be here. This is the sleep button, this is your inputs, and then this is volume up and down. Now, if these buttons are not lit correctly, then there, you will have to kind of reach underneath where the power bar is going into the computer. We're gonna put a picture up for you and there's a switch that you can uh, activate to get those so that they have power. But what I'm gonna do is real briefly, you can see that right now, my laptop is not being projected up here. That's because when you start the smart board up, it's ready for you to go. So I don't even have my computer up here yet, and I'm able to do a whiteboard. This is just in the panel itself. If I need more space, I just use my finger and get more space, and I can kind of have my little lesson going on. If I need my computer, I'm gonna press the input on here until it gets to the HDMI input that I plugged into. So HDMI one, there it is. And now I've got my computer up here. And it should be ready for me to touch. I've got everything that I need to do my lessons, to use my smart notebook, should be all set.